Hey everybody! Today we're opening up the Japan Crate for October of 2019. This is still the premium size, but I think for next month I'm going to bump down a level to the original size box because that's just a little more reasonable for now because I've been getting the premium boxes for a couple of months and I really enjoy them. It's just a lot. So I want to try the original size for a while. So let's get opening for October and this box says Happy Halloween. So I'm hoping that there are maybe some Halloween-y type treats in here. Oh boy. I just love opening this and seeing how full. Oh my gosh. Okay. So full of stuff. Tons of stuff. I love that. But when it's just me doing these videos and then, you know, after everything's open, the treats are around my house, I'm the one usually nibbling on all of this. So I'm trying to rein it in a little. It's not easy. Okay, here's our booklet. Here's everything that comes in the box. I'm gonna leave that open right down here. I'm already getting a little spoilers and seeing things that I'm excited about. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna try, this is the first thing that caught my eye. I'm just gonna grab this right off the top because I wanna try whatever is in this adorable box with the cake on it. This is called Takenoko no Sato Strawberry Shortcake. Takenoko no Sato in Japanese means Bamboo Shoot Village. And that's exactly what's inside the box. Each chocolate biscuit is a baby bamboo shoot, except way tastier because there's strawberry shortcake flavor. Enjoy these creamy and strawberry covered cookie bites. What a cute bag too. It looks like it's got a little village in a forest or something on it. And light pink, I love pink. Oh yeah, they just smell like strawberry cookies. But I'm, guessing these aren't actually chocolate. I mean, because it says each chocolate biscuit, but maybe they mean white chocolate. Okay, look how cute those are. They're tiny. But yeah, I don't see any like milk or dark chocolate or anything, so I'm just gonna assume they mean white. Definitely smells like strawberry. Okay, I'm gonna try just one. I lied, I'm not trying just one. I'm trying two. Something is a little bit different about the strawberry flavor. This really cute pink, pretty strawberry coating on them. I think it's something in there that's a little bit, I don't know, just different. But it's not bad. And I really like the biscuit. And I'm gonna eat another one. I'm gonna show you the inside of the bag actually, because I've eaten three and there's still a bunch in here. So I think this is a really nice amount that they've given us. See, there's kind of a lot in there. So yeah, other than that kind of interesting flavor in the strawberry, these are really good. And I like the biscuit and I like how crunchy they are. And I like that they're pink. So definitely a good find. Next, I'm gonna pick something that I think I recognized from last month. It's either last month or the month before that I predict right now I'm not gonna like because I did not like it last time. And this looks basically the same. This is a grape soda gummy. Introducing grape soda in its newest form, gummy. Chew on this tasty gummy, dusted in extra flavor crystals for a Halloween night boost. Well, I don't really know if that has anything to actually do with Halloween, but that's okay. And I think la last time I tried this, it was the soda flavored, which generally I don't have a problem with, but there's something just about the flavor of these I didn't like, and I also, very surprisingly, did not care for the huge sugar crystals all over the outside. But maybe I'll fare a little bit better for grape. Oh, ooh, this smells very grapey. Okay. I do like this grape flavor better. So that's good. For some reason I didn't like how they did soda, but I like how they do grape. The sugar crystals are just fine. Um, when I very first took a bite though, like immediately, it did not taste good. So you've got to give it a couple of seconds for that grape flavor to kick in. I'm eating more. That's how okay I think it is. But it's just something about biting into it right away. It wasn't good. So what's next? Hmm. Um, maybe this little package, which has, uh, it's got ghosts, it's got pumpkins, bats, like a wizard guy. This is a Halloween chocolate bat. Swing, batter, batter, swing. Swing this chocolate-coated snack right into your mouth for a sweet and satisfying home run. 
Oh, a bat, but like the sports bat, not the cute little critter. And my mind automatically goes to animals. Does it actually look like a bat? Not exactly. It's really just a chocolate log. <laughs> but sure, let's call it a bat. It's very light. I, this has got to be like a light, airy, crispy type of a thing because this weighs like nothing. Oh, not what I was expecting at all. The chocolate's good, but the inside is, is not what I thought it was going to be. So this, it's very light, but this is not crispy at all. This is like bread, like the consistency of stale bread. The chocolate's good. Um, it's a very, it's a very thin coating of chocolate. The inside bread stuff is not good. That's like, tastes like nothing. So I'm not even going to finish eating that. It's not really a cookie. It's not very biscuity. It's just weird and like practically flavorless. So I'm going to pass. This one's a no. Let's move on to item number four, which is going to be this next one right on top that I poked very viciously. Um, oh, and I shouldn't have poked it because maybe I broke it. But that's funny because it's a Pocky stick. But these are in a Halloween wrapper because they've got pumpkins and bats on the front. And it says Lovely Halloween. This is Lovely Halloween Chocolate Pocky. Each Pocky pack is decorated with a Halloween design. Kick back and relax during your snack break with a classic Japanese snack. This strawberry scent, oh my goodness, it smells delicious. So definitely strawberry Pocky sticks. I still am in the habit of calling them Pokey sticks. Sometimes that slips out. There's almost nothing to these. They're just so tiny, but delicious. Oh my goodness. Now I know that the stick is just, you know, kind of a plain little stick, but it actually tastes delicious. Now item number five, I want to try whatever this got. Is this a Pokemon? I'm so terrible. I don't know. My husband would know if it's a Pokemon. I wouldn't know if it's a Pokemon. Oh, it might be. It's got Pokeballs on the back. Okay, so this next little package has a little Pokemon looking guy, like he's kind of in a pumpkin, and then has a picture of what looks like a bunny or cat shaped little cookie thing. This is Pokemon Halloween Party Pack Chocolate. Yes, okay, it is Pokemon. Pika Pika, these Halloween edition chocolate puff snacks are shaped like mini Pikachus. Oh. Okay, that's why it's a bunny or a cat looking thing. It's a Pikachu. They're fun and tasty as is, mixed with milk or sprinkled on desserts. Gotta eat them all. Pikachu, I should have known. My husband will be so disappointed. Oh, they smell like Cocoa Puffs. That's it, they smell just like Cocoa Puff cereal. And frankly, they look like Cocoa Puffs, just shaped differently. Let's pull one out. Oh, Pikachu's got a broken ear. This Pikachu's better, he's got both ears. Look, that is very cute. Okay, they smell delicious. I like Cocoa Puffs, so I'm gonna try them. Seriously, it's Cocoa Puff cereal. These are really good. Ooh, there's almost like a popcorn-y type flavor to them. These are delicious. If they sold this as a cereal, I would totally buy these and eat these. I mean, or I could just eat them right out of here. Now I see a little package that I want to open right away because it looks so cute. Oh my goodness, is that cute. This looks adorable. Okay, so this is strawberry soft. It's almost too cute to eat. Well, see, I'm not the only one who felt that way. Good. The sweet marshmallow type treat is flavored like strawberry shortcake. Yeah, don't love that smell. There's got to be something inside though. I feel bad breaking you apart, but I've got to do it. There's some kind of strawberry flavor inside. I'm gonna try and just eat the whole thing. Not so hot. So I think that strawberry jelly flavor stuff inside might be okay in something else, but the little cone part, you know, it's like very soft. It's, and not a lot of flavor there. And then the marshmallow part, I didn't like, so just kind of those things combined. Um, I don't really like that. 
Next, I'd like to try whatever's in this little pack. Oh my gosh, I know exactly what this is. I say whatever and just, I know exactly what this is. So this is, um, well, I don't know the name name, you know, but this is like that little hard, really super crunchy rock candy that we have seen a couple times before, only this time it's got a skeleton on the package and he's sticking his tongue out at us and the little candies are dark green. These are Halloween Pero Pero Compito. In Japanese, Pero Pero uh, is the onomatopoeia for lick. Konpito is a traditional Japanese sweet of star-shaped sugar candy that is often given as a gift. Can't believe it didn't take me like a full minute to pronounce onomatopoeia. I said, is that right? Onomatopoeia? Oh my gosh. Way back from English class, I don't quite remember. Yeah, yeah, I think that's right. They smell like nothing. Whatever's happening this month with this particular sugary, super sugary flavor, I don't really like that either. So, mm, no thanks. Let's pick this because it looks adorable. And I have to, I have to try this. This is so cute. This is Fruits Monster Rainbow. Not all monsters are scary. This one has a fruity rainbow candy to share with you. Bite into this soft gummy when you have a monstrous craving for something sweet. Whoa, that's an interesting smell. It smells like some kind of bubble gum. Look, they're like all rainbow stripey. Oh my goodness. Eee. Okay, just says fruity, so let's see what kind of fruit. Just a little sour. Um, I can't pinpoint any particular fruit flavor, but they're just missing the mark slightly for me. Something that I don't love in there. Like if it was just like cherry or strawberry or a mix of something that I could pinpoint easier, you know, that'd be great. But I don't know what it is that I, whatever this fruity, so like I can't identify their fruit. And I wish I liked these better, but I don't. I'll try another bite because I like that sour kick and they are still sweet. Yeah, mm, not a big fan. But as weird as this may sound, I think I'm still gonna like save them because if I decorate a gingerbread house this Christmas, wouldn't these be adorable to use somehow in the gingerbread house decoration? So I'm definitely hanging on to these. Next, I'd like to try whatever this elephant is. Is that an elephant? No, I think I was looking at it upside down. I don't know what that is. This is Dengeki Hunter Soft Candy. In what may be one of our most unique DIY kits, hunt down an eel. Oh, it's an eel, whoops. Hunt down an eel, cut him up, and pour the sauce on top to make your very own confectionery unagi. Just the right amount of macabre and fun for Halloween. Yeah. Based on the pictures on the back, it's not my thing. Whereas Lucy Ricardo would say, not my brand. I don't think I'm gonna like this. Okay, and also based on the pictures that were on the front of the package, it looks disgusting. This is what you see. Here's the eel, which I thought was the elephant trunk, I guess. And here's a knife, like, a knife knife it looks like a knife and there's the sauce is that like honestly like I can get if you're trying to say it's like a sushi thing but doesn't just look like if you use this you'd be pouring blood over the thing you just hunted down and cut to bits with your knife hate this idea and I am a complete hypocrite because I eat meat I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna cut a little piece well, I don't know what side to use. Wait, I know that sounds dumb, but one side has teeth and it's not the typical side your knife would have teeth on. I'm going to I'm gonna meet them in the middle here. I'm not pouring that blood sauce on top of this thing, so this isn't a super accurate taste. I will just try a piece of the eel and see what I think. Ew. And it's got like a little kick to it. Ew. Oh, okay, it's like spicy. Weird, weird, weird. No, I don't want to cut up an eel. A spicy, gross, I mean, I don't like this flavor at all. 
a spicy gross eel and then pour what looks like blood on it after I've hacked it up with a knife. Uh, no, thank you. This is like a huge fail. This is not my thing at all. I'm putting it over there, but like legit, it's got some spice in it. Please let the next item be way better. I'm going to use, I'm going to go for one of our big bags. I'm going to do it. Usually I save those to the end, but this time I want to go for something big right now. Oh, I bet I'm going to like it. We've had something like this before. This is Japanese chestnut Mont Blanc caramel corn. Caramel corn is a JC family favorite, a popular Japanese snack known for its sweet, airy crispiness. This special seasonal flavor is Mont Blanc with Japanese chestnut, the perfect autumn snack since chestnuts are one of Japan's most popular fall treats. Well, they smell absolutely delicious and caramely. They smell fantastic. And they look just like some of the puffy caramel corns that we got before. Okay, I just don't know Mont Blanc. I don't know what that is, so I'm hoping it's something good. Okay, it took me a second. I know what these remind me of. This has a hint of whatever, something that tastes like those roasted almonds, or they come, you can get other nuts too, but I always get the almonds, that you get at like the state fair, and they smell incredible, and you can like smell them a mile away, and they've got all that coating of, I have no idea, like sugar and stuff on them. These taste sort of like those fair almonds, those fair nuts. These are really good. They're very light. Um, they dissolve really quickly and they are delish. And you can absolutely share this bag because it's big enough totally to share or get a couple of snacks out of. So I love that this is a nice big size. And most importantly, I love the flavor. So these are a hit. Now I'm gonna be trying a little ball. Hmm, I can't make heads or tails of what it is. Let's look it up. Donguri gum. Two for one, the soda flavored hard candy doubles as gum. So when you're ready to switch it up, aim for the center for some fun. Okay, so is it hard candy first and then when you get through to the center of the candy, it's gum or is it gum with hard, no, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I think this is hard candy on the outside, gum on the inside. I'm not gonna like eat it that long to get to the gum, but I'll at least taste the hard candy. Okay. Definitely soda flavored and pretty good, actually. I mean, it's nothing like super special or fantastic, but it's a good little soda flavor. Like, I actually like that. Wouldn't mind trying the gum inside, but I'm just not a hard candy person. So unfortunately I won't finish it, but it was really pretty good. Now I'm gonna open something that I've been eyeing this whole time, pretty much because as a Disney nut, I zoned right in on Minnie and Mickey. This is Halloween Disney character chocolate. Mickey and friends finished trick-or-treating and they're sharing their chocolate loot with you. Enjoy this Halloween Disney character milk chocolate. So it sounds like it's just plain like little milk chocolate coins basically. And the ones they show on front, um, some have Mickey on them and some have Minnie. And it's just too, I mean, it's just, it's like a little Mickey and Minnie trick-or-treating thing. And it's so cute. For the first time, I went to Mickey's not so scary Halloween party earlier this month and they should totally give out something like this That's like Mickey and Minnie or Disney character themed rather than just like the M&Ms and Skittles that kind of thing that they give out But I mean, I would love to have candy there. That's actually got Mickey and Minnie on it There are four candies inside. Oh, these little four candies have characters on them. so I think that's Dale and the uh, Cheshire Cat and Mickey and Minnie and it, Pick the Cheshire Cat. Yeah, it looks just like a little chocolate disc or coin. It's not fantastic chocolate. It's just okay. So I'll save the rest for now, but at least they're very cute. Okay, I see a couple big things here that I just want to like save to the very end. So I'm trying to get to all the smaller stuff first. Just based on feel, I think we've had something just like this before. This is natto umaibo. Have you ever wanted to try natto? A unique Japanese food that people either love or hate. Here's your chance to try it with this natto flavored umaibo. So which side are you on? Okay, they call it unique and they say people either love it or hate it, which gives me like 
a Vegemite vibe, you know, like how people you either love Vegemite or I don't even think there's middle ground. You just either love it or it's like disgusting, but I don't know if anybody like is just okay with it. But yeah, I do remember eating something like this before. I don't remember if I liked it though or what flavor it was, but it's like this puffy, crispy stick. Very light, very light. And mm, okay, just now that I smell it real close to my nose, it just smells okay. The more I smell it, the more skeptical I'm getting, so I'm just gonna bite it. Wait, no, no, no. That's a lot of flavors that come like boom, boom, boom. And at first it was fine, and then it wasn't, and then it was okay, and then it wasn't. This is weird. This reminds me of something I can't, I can't remember what. I don't like it though. So this reminds me of for some reason, a barbecue potato chip. And in general, I don't like barbecue potato chips. So I don't know what this flavor is. I don't know what natto is, but it's not ter like terrible and disgusting. It's just, I don't like whatever this is. And it's, it's very like different. It's got so many different flavors that it tastes like all at once. It's weird. Here's something that I really don't want to try. And I say that because I don't want to try a lot of gum in these boxes. Um, I'm kind of over trying gums, but I found one. Wait a minute, I'm gonna about to open it and eat it before I even show what it is. This is Sumiko Garashi gum. Trick or treat at the home of the Sumiko Garashi cuties. They're giving you this yogurt flavored gum for Halloween. The little characters on here are cute. But we have gum like this so often that I just don't wanna keep trying gum. I'd rather just eat stuff. Just try the half and yogurt flavored. That at least sounds interesting. So like usual, this gum is really soft, which I like. But since I've tried this gum a few times now, I'm noticing that the, the major flavor of these gums is the same every time. And then there's just like a little something that sort of distinguishes it from gum to gum. I don't remember all the flavors. Oh, we had like apple. I think we've had soda flavor. And I think we've had more than that, but I can't tell at all that this is anything yogurty. It just tastes like good sweet gum. And like these always taste like good sweet gum. So again, when they're that similar, do we really need to try these different flavors month to month? It's good, I'll give it that, it is good. Now there's something else that I think I recognize, well at least kind of, I think it's a little gummy, it's just like a like a little a really gummy fruit snack. This is Cola Ball. Did you know Japan loves jelly? There's a variety of jelly candies, desserts, and drinks. Try it out for yourself with this bite of cola flavored jelly. So I tend to call it gummy but they tend to call it jelly. And I guess that would make sense because it's got a different consistency than like a traditional um, gummy fruit snack. Okay, but how do I get it out of here? Cause it's just in this little package. Wait, it's like, it's like what? It's like got a little watery stuff on it. Where's that toothpick that came with that eel? I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna try taking, it out with the toothpick, ew. It's like a slimy jelly. And it looks like it's got a slight baseball pattern to it. I'm, I'm just gonna take a bite. I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. I guess it's okay. It's definitely that ramen -A soda flavor. I just don't like that it's like slippery and wet and there's definitely a little liquid in the bottom of the cup. That's just okay. I think that's more of like a consistency and appearance thing for me rather than necessarily a flavor I have a real problem with. So I guess just not my thing. Next, we've got big stuff. I think that's the end of all of our small things. So this bottle, I'm not even gonna take a really good look at it. I'm just gonna go get some ice for it and let it start cooling down while we open some other stuff so that I don't have to drink this like room temperature. So that's cooling. I'll get back to that drink. But first I wanna open this big bag right here. 
I mean, look at the size of this bag. Now, there, it's a lot of air. There might not be a ton of stuff in here, but it's like a nice, generous size. So I'm already excited. And it looks Halloween-y too with the ghosts on there and the little bird dressed up like a witch in haunted houses. This is very cute. This is Peanut Choco Ball Halloween Pack. You can't have Halloween without these classic Japanese chocolates. These milk chocolate covered crunchy peanuts are one of those treats you just can't stop munching on. Choco Balls are a treat loved by all ages, so share them, that is, if you can contain your taste buds. Choco Balls. And last month, I think, they were like grape flavored or something like that. Yeah, it was like grape, so they're like those little purple balls. There are several bags in here. I'm gonna count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven bags. These would be great for sharing or for putting in lunches or taking with someplace for a quick snack because you have so many little packages of them. And the packages are so cute. Some packages have black cats on them. Some packages have little pumpkins on them. What's this one? This one has uh, bats and like a little haunted house on it. What's these? This one has ghosts on this red package. Oh, they do smell good. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these little choco peanut butter balls inside. And I'm going to try two of them. It's not peanut butter. Oh, oh. Chocolate covered peanuts, not peanut butter. Duh. I took a bite and it was crunchy. I'm like, this isn't peanut butter. It's chocolate covered peanuts, which I really like. So besides the peanut, there's something else that's a little bit more crispy type of crunch inside. And these are pretty darn good. Yep, these are a problem. These are a yummy little problem. Hope I can manage to make these last at least a couple days. Just have to finish this little package right now they're that good okay our last item is going to be that drink so our second to last item but our last food item which lately has been my very favorite thing to try in these boxes it's some kind of kit kat it says halloween break and it shows a purple kit kat and what looks like a slice of pie this is a special bonus item for this month Apple Pie Kit Kat. These limited edition Kit Kats are apple pie flavor, but they're also purple. What's going on? Well, the story goes that the ghosts turned the chocolate purple for Halloween. They also made these delicious apple pie Kit Kats the perfect balance of sweet and sour. I don't know how I feel about something that sounds sweet and sour. And apple pie and purple. I like this dark purple package though, like the wrapper. And the package, I think that's very pretty. That that kind of purple thing that it's got going on. Okay, it's purple. Like it's a light, pretty purple color. They smell like a tangy candy, like a sourish tangy candy. And a little apple-y. Very strange combination. I don't know about this. But I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try it. It's weird how much these taste like apple pie. Like it's bizarre. They really taste like pie, but then they have that soury thing happening. So first the sour stuff, and then the pie. From a pie flavor perspective, they're really good. I like that, and I do not understand how they made a Kit Kat tastes so realistic like a piece of apple pie. So that part I like. Whatever this sour tang is, it doesn't fit here. It doesn't fit with a Kit Kat for me. It doesn't fit with apple pie. So I don't really get why those flavors are together. I mean, if it was part of a different candy, sure, it'd probably be fine. But this just doesn't seem like the right candy to add that weird soury flavor into. So I like these because of the apple pie but I don't love these because of the tangy. So I had popped this drink in the freezer. I've got a glass of ice now though, and I'm gonna try it. So this is my Lipton. This is Lipton Caramel Milk Tea. Refresh yourself with this limited edition 
Lipton Caramel Milk Tea after a long night of trick-or-treating and Halloween festivities. Each bottle features famous collaboration artwork. Well, I'm not sure who they collaborated with. For the cute little Halloween characters on the front, the little guy with the pumpkin head and his little bucket, and then the little bat. They're really cute, um, but I just don't know what I don't know about this. I like tea. I like iced tea. I guess I like milk. I don't drink, typically don't drink dairy milk, but I like milk. Um, I like caramel. So are we saying that this is like actually like iced tea? Is that what this is supposed to be? Can't tell how it smells. So I'm just going to pour it over our ice. What kind of tea is that? Maybe Earl Grey? Something very strong. It really is tea, like full-blown, steeped, strong tea. Oh yeah, that's almost floral. What kind of tea is that? I can't figure it out. I don't love it. I'm not really getting caramel. And I guess in terms of milk, it's like, it's obviously not just straight up tea. I guess they put milk in it, but all I can taste is a very strong tea. I really wanted to like this. But I don't really like it all that much. And don't get me wrong, I like tea. And I like to put some of my milk in it and um, a little honey, stuff like that. But this is just, I don't know, weird and very strong. And I'm not getting a caramel taste, like, at all. So, not exactly my thing. Okay, I've got an empty box. That was everything. So, a lot of good treats. And when I look at my booklet here to see what came in the premium crate this month that was exclusive to this premium crate. It says the uh, little bamboo shoot strawberry shortcakes, the fruits monster rainbow gummies, you know, those strips, the Disney chocolates, the Pocky sticks, the Kit Kats, the Pokemon Cocoa Pops basically, the chocolate bat and the Lipton caramel milk tea. Those things were all exclusive to the premium crate. I just have to know that come next month when I switch down to the original size, I'm going to be missing out on some of those really good premium items. And then I'm going to be kicking myself. The gum came in the original, whoop de doo And then so did the Compito, the little like um, sugar rock candies. I don't think we never like need to get those again either. It's going to be fine. It's going to be totally fine. I'm going to switch the original for next month, see how it goes. And then maybe, I'll, I don't know, I'll just feel like it's not enough treats or something and I'll want to bump back up. So we'll see. So next month I'll get my very first original size Japan crate and we'll open that together and I'll taste everything and let you know how it goes. So uh, thanks very much for watching and happy Halloween. Bye.